Hello everyone. I am welcome you all to my channel and today I am going to show you how to fix Wi-Fi not working on Windows 7. So to fix this issue, just follow the methods that I am going to tell you now. So the first method is you have to check whether the Wi-Fi is turned on by the physical keys or not. So if your laptop or PC keyboard has this Wi-Fi key, then just press it to turn on the Wi-Fi. In this case, the F3 key is the Wi-Fi key. So just press the F3 key or press function along with the F3 key to turn on the Wi-Fi. So this was method number one. Now the method number two is just go to the start button and now in the search bar just type control panel. Yeah, just click on the search result control panel. And now make the view by as large icons. And now click on the option internet options. And now go to the connections tab. And now click on LAN settings button. Now just select this option automatically detect settings. Just check it. After selecting it, now if in your system, if this option, the second one and the third one are selected or checked in your system, then just uncheck it. So just uncheck these two options, the second one and the third one. So in this box, only this first option should be checked automatically detect settings after selecting it just click on the ok button and now just go to the advanced tab and now just click on this button restore advanced settings after this just click on the apply button and click on ok button and close this window and now just check whether your issue is resolved or not so this was method number two now the method number three is just go to the start button and now in the search bar just type services click on the search result services and now in this list of services just search for wlan auto config so here it is wlan auto config just click on it right click over it and now click on the option properties And now just change the startup type from manual to automatic. So just change it to automatic. After this just click on the apply button. And if the service status is stopped in your system then just click on the start button to start it. Click on ok button. Now close this window. And again go to the start button. And now in the search bar just type view network connection. So yeah, it is already showing. Just click on the search result, view network connections. And now click on this Wi-Fi adapter, wireless network connection. After selecting it, just right click over it and click on enable option. So this will enable the Wi-Fi adapter. And you can see that the internet is now connected. Now close this window. And now just check whether your issue is resolved or not. So this was method number 3. Now the method number 4 is just go to the start button. And now in the search bar just type CMD. Now right click over the search result CMD. And click on the option run as administrator. Click on yes. And now you have to execute some commands. I will give these commands in the video description you can copy it from there. So the first command is net sh space winsock space reset and now hit enter. Now the next command is net sh space int space ip space reset space reset log dot txt and after this just hit enter now the last command is ipconfig space front slash flush dns and now hit enter now just type exit and hit enter 
now just restart your system and after restarting your system just check whether your issue is resolved or not so this was method number 4 now the method number 5 is just go to the start button and now in the search bar just type device manager yeah just click on the search result device manager and now just expand this network adapters and now click on realtek 8821ae wireless lan 802.11ac so just click on the wifi driver the manufacturer may be different in your system like it may be intel or something else but it will have this wireless for wifi written in its name so just select it right click over it and now click on the option update driver software Now click on the option Browse my computer for driver software. Click on the option Let me pick from a list of device driver on my computer. And now just select this Realtek 8821AE wireless LAN and click on Next button. Click on Close button. So the Wi-Fi driver is now updated. Now again click on the Wi-Fi driver, right click over it, and click on the option Properties. and now go to the power management tab and now just uncheck this option allow the computer to turn off this device to save power just uncheck it now click on the okay button and after this just close this window and just restart your system and after restarting your system just check whether your wifi is working or not so this was method number 5 now the method number 6 is again click on the wifi driver right click over it and now click on the option uninstall click on the okay button just remember one thing do not check this option delete the driver software for this device do not check it just click on the okay button now close this window and now just restart your system and after restarting your system just check whether your wifi is working or not so this was method number 6 now the method number 7 is just go to the start button and now in the search bar just type view network connection so yeah it is already showing just click on the search result view network connection and now just click on the wifi adapter so just click on wireless network connection after selecting it just right click over it and now click on the option disable so the wifi adapter is now disabled now just wait for a few seconds and then again click on the wifi adapter right click over it and now click on the option enable so this will enable the wifi adapter so it is now enabled now close this window and just check whether your issue is resolved or not so this was method number 7 now the method number 8 is just go to the start button and now in the search bar just type control panel yeah just click on the search result control panel and now just make the view by as category and then just click on network and internet option click on network and sharing center now click on your wifi network click on properties button now click on internet protocol version 4 and now click on properties button and now just select this option obtain an ip address automatically so just select it and then select this option obtain dns server address automatically after this just click on okay button click on close button click on close button close this window and now just check whether your wifi is working or not so these were the methods that you can try out to fix wifi not working in windows 7 so that's it from my side if you like my video you can click on the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching